Welcome to the tutorial for the lab fixation in root nodules for biology B lesson 5.16 and 17. So this is one that you definitely want to do the reading first, but I'm going to go through and show you the virtual lab that's in your reading assignments. I'm going to go straight into the lab, but the tutorial is there for you. First thing you want to do is pick your glove, and again with the virtual labs it doesn't matter which color. And I'm going to see something like that. The first thing I'm going to do is my part A which is to inspect the bean and radish plant with the hand lens. So I'm going to click on the hand lens, pick it up. Oh, you know, I'm going to put that back down. And I'm going to magnify my screen because I'm probably going to want a better view of that. Okay, so hmm, quick overview. Hmm, okay. And okay. Oh, I see some differences. Notice that this is pretty much one main root with maybe a little tiny bunch of, of hairs off to the side of that. So I'm going to sketch that. So I have my radish and I'm going to sketch that. And then I'm going to look back at the, uh, the beans. And this, what I notice is this root is kind of everywhere. It's very different from the radish. The radish has that one long root with maybe some small hair-like projections where this one has all kinds of branching roots. And then I'm seeing these lumps. They're not just branching roots. There's these tiny little lumps, maybe looks like balls. Some of them are bigger than others. The roots are at all kinds of different angles. Okay, so I'm going to answer the question then. Are there nodules on the roots? And sketch. Then I'm going to sketch my radish root and answer the question. Are there nodules on the radish root. Then I'm going to look at the similarities and differences between them and I describe some of those similarities and differences. So now that's part A. I'm going to put my hand lens down and work on part B. To do that I'm going to just move it over here and then click. So then I need to do Part B, it says using the scalpel, remove a large nodule from the bean root. So I'm going to pick up my scalpel, my knife. I'm going to come over here. Look, it tells me where I can't do things. And I'm going to just click. See if I can get a piece. And you see there's this piece right there that dropped off. Put my scalpel down, pick up that piece, bring it on up here put it down on the cutting plate. I'm going to pick up my scalpel again by clicking on it and then I'm going to click to cut it in half. I'm going to put my scalpel down and now I am going to pick up my hand lens and look at it. Hmm, looks pretty pink. Outside's brown. Makes sense because of the dirt and looks like there's the little yellow ring and then some pink and then it goes lighter pink. The question for part B is, looking at the lab, it says sketch the inside of the bean nodule and describe or label what you're observing. So that means I have to use my reading to label and describe. I can describe it by what I just did in the in uh, the conversation I had with you, but to label it, I'm going to need to be able to use my reading. I'm going to put that down, put the hand lens down, and I'm going to move on to part three, viewing in with the microscope. So this I'm going to have to return my 
zoom to a more normal position. I'm going to click on the cover. I'm going to put it down over here by the scalpel by clicking again, putting that down. And I'm going to turn on my microscope by clicking on the power bar. I'm going to move my light up by dragging and holding the mouse. I'm going to put this on power of 10 or 4x, the lowest. So I have 4x, 10, and 40. And I'm going to start with the 4x. Okay, got my lens paper. Now I know I'm going to click on the lens paper. And then when I come over here to the microscope, I'm going to click and hold back and forth, back and forth, cleaning that lens. When I'm done, I'm going to let go of the mouse the hold part of the mouse. I'm going to move using the mouse, the lens paper over the trash. I'm going to click. I'm going to click. And it's going to ask me if I want to throw it away. Lens paper we only use once, so the answer is yes. All right, so my next thing is to pick up the slide and place it on the microscope. Then, hmm, look what I'm seeing. Let's see if I move it around. I'm still seeing pretty gray, so that means I need to use my focus. Oh, look. Looks like coarse focus, fine focus. Looks like a bunch of bubbles, and it looks like some have different coloring and little dots in them. Let's move that around and see. I'm going to just click on the tray and move things around. Oh. Huh, some of those are bigger than others. Oh, look at those tiny ones. And then I have some big ones right there. And let me move it around some more. So I'm seeing some big bubbles and some small bubbles. I wonder what that looks like when I move it to the next power, 10x. Use my focus, coarse focus. Remember, we don't want to use our coarse focus on 40x, but carefully. Ooh, I like that picture. You can see the small and the big pretty well there. OK, and I've seen the pink in there and these bigger cells along with these smaller cells. Uh, let's see what happens when I go to 40x. 40x, I'm going to use my fine more than my coarse because I know it can break the lens. Hmm. There's a pretty interesting thing to look at. Look at that. Some of these cells are really big, and some of them are small. I think for my sketches, though, see, that's interesting. But I think for my sketches, I'm going to use my 10x. Let's focus that again. Because I can tell the larger ones from the smaller ones. Let's get that in focus. My pretty well there. So I have large ones and small ones. I can go back and forth between the two as I draw my sketches. So in part C, it says draw the bean nodule, including cells with and without rhizobium. Hmm, how am I going to figure out the difference between those? I guess that I want to use my reading to figure that out. And I'm going to draw two sketches in this area, one with rhizobium and one without. So I see that. Go one more time to that 40x for you. Clear it up. There we go. There's a nice picture of the cells. 
and what you see and what's the difference? Then there's some questions you can answer to follow up in conclusion of this lab. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.